Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Summer Cup 2018 broadcast. My name is Dalcy, joined by Yeesh uh, for tonight, and we're ready to bring you all of the tasty uh, day three action uh, that's happened across the week. Yeesh, this is a pretty exciting time for everyone who's in groups because uh, these are the matches that well and truly decide whether or not you make it through to the knockout stages. Absolutely. And I think all these matches actually decide so many scenarios. There's even a couple of groups where, uh, depending on the set count, uh, different players will uh, be put in through the division. So can't wait to see what's going to happen. It's going to be exciting. Yeah, kind of crazy that uh, there's there's literally three of the games today that we're, we're going to cast uh, before the games are played. Um, and when we cast them today... There are three possibilities of who could go through as first, second, um, and then, of course, one person will have to end up as third as well. So, uh, wow. Uh, I mean, <laughs> uh, good luck, us, for, uh, for getting all the, uh, the possibilities correct before we even go into the game. I think uh, I've got them all noted down, courtesy of Royal Flush, who uh, spent his week uh, today, uh, this week, analyzing all the different uh, outcomes possible for, uh, for tonight's matches. That's uh, so a big shout out to uh, to Royal Plush for that. Uh, but before we get into it, uh, if you haven't watched a Summer Cup broadcast yet, um, then might as well quickly go over the broadcast. Uh, uh, sorry, the tournament structure. Uh, it's split into two stages: the group stage and the knockout stage. Um, we are currently in the group stage. We're in day three of the group stages, uh, the last and third final day of the group stages. Um, the group stages are uh, there's eight groups. Uh, with four people in each group, so uh, everyone plays a round robin of three games, and then the top two from each group uh, progress to the knockout stages, uh, which are going to be finding out very shortly who will be uh, doing that at the end of this week, even possibly at the end of tomorrow's broadcast. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, uh, for those who uh, who are unaware, there is a prize pool actually associated with uh, the Summer Cup. Pretty exciting stuff. Um, first place will take home $100, with second place getting a, a tasty 50 bucks. Uh, and then there's prizes for third and fourth as well. And these were all donated by Royal Flush, Crazy Kelly, and BRS Kayla. So a big shout out to those who, uh, who donated towards the prize pool. Uh, and during the group stages, we are limited to playing um, the same maps as each other. So everyone plays one round of ballroom. One round of courtyard, one round of library, and then one round of pub. Um, and then when we move on to the knockout stages, the map pool changes, um, and you know changes multiple times actually throughout the knockout stage. So you really have to uh, keep on your toes. You don't get to draft your opponent. You have to uh, essentially everyone plays the same maps, which gives it some element of fairness uh, due to the fact that everyone's performances are kind of based on the same test. Uh, but yeah, tonight we're, uh, we're going to be broadcasting some great games. We've got uh, Tenant Boy versus Alex Air up first, followed by Frosty versus Someone. Uh, that Someone is Bad Player tonight. Uh, I was kind of debating with myself whether I wanted to, to cast the Bit Banding Pig series, but uh, Bad Player and Frosty played earlier today, and, and that will round out Group E, so might as well stick to that. Uh, group F will have Pox versus Belial, and then we'll finish things off in Group G with ML726 versus Yerin. So uh, without further ado, let's load up the uh, the first game here, get ready to uh, jump into it. Uh, it's Turner Boy versus Alexair, two challenger players, Yish. Absolutely, and we've seen a lot of spy wins actually coming out on this map so far. Uh, really volatile maps, especially starting with the uh, Ballroom and Courier. I've seen a lot of spy wins. Let's see if uh, either of these players can take an early lead. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, ballroom especially. I think um, the stats were run by, uh, by um, would have been Warning Track, and uh, Ballroom came out to be a pretty heavily spy-favored map overall, which is, uh, is pretty exciting, especially down in the Challenger division. But uh, this is not SEL. This is Summer Cup, and here... We do things a little bit differently, but uh, Tenor Boy will be looking to try and snipe himself a spy win. So let's get on into the action in 3, 2, 1, playing it. As Teal here, Yish, looking to uh, to potentially pick up the first win of the series. Absolutely. Teal, unfortunately, does not have the best bug. And bug is a very strong mission on Ballroom, but still plenty of opportunities for Tenor Boy to win this match. Looks like we're just going to slow play here, not draw too much suspicion. And look, this is a great conversation to go to, getting Flirt and BB 
potential here. Not the greatest time for BB right now, but definitely some opportunities here. Yeah, yeah you absolutely could go for it. Uh, there's a decent amount of people in conversation, but potentially not uh, going to be super valuable in framing any targets. In fact, you'll knock out pretty much everyone who's uh, who's been to statues so far. So instead, Turnip Boy takes his uh, his flirt, a white test here for 34%. Now is going to continue surveying the party, looking for any possible uh, mission progress. The ambassador puts down the briefcase over by the paintings that catches Turnip Boy's eye. Maybe we can get a fingerprint. Also got the uh, the statues to uh, to deal with as well. Yeah, it seems like Alex are here with some interesting laser positioning. Actually, not revealing where his laser is from a Turnip Boy's perspective. It's into the sky, and uh, it's actually very interesting to see. Not too many players do this. They're very Trying high up, actually. He's looking at. Yeah. Looks like and he just glanced down to take a look at the purling, but Ooh. really going for a high angle. Oh, that bug. So close to taking. Really great opportunity there. The, oh, he the goes for it anyway. He's going to guard it. Wow, okay, so Turnip Boy anyways. frustrated that he misses the bug as the ambassador walks by, goes for a walking bug. 100% visible on Alexair's laser, but I don't think he was looking for it. That's going to be Turnip Boy with some mission progress here. We'll have to see how Alex Air reacts to Turnip Boy for the rest of the game because if you saw the bug and, and with Till's walking bug, you can usually be pretty sure if you saw it or not. Uh, then maybe he's just waiting for uh, for some extra confirmation before shooting Turnip Boy. Yeah, we have slow played this whole game and thankfully it does not seem like we've gotten a highlight. And the green for the loin comes off. Oh this my. is huge. And we're going to statues. Looks like we're going for a silent game here. I really like this. Yes, this just got taken. Can, yeah, does he recognize? What is the sniper's reaction? Nothing yet. Nothing yet. This is the third animation cycle, I think, from Turnip Boy at Statues. But it's okay. We haven't been shot yet. Statues put down. Guess list done. We're just looking for a flirt now. 68%. This is going to get it. With a white test. Is Alex Air on top of the pearl and on top of the bug, on top of the statues, on top of the flirt? He has to make the shot now. No other time to do it, but this laser doesn't look like it's looking for a shot. Turn it, boy. The first spy win of the series. Yeah, it seems suspicious there for the for the inspects, but nothing else. Uh, really what turned the game around there was that really getting away with that bug. Not too easy to get away with it as Teal, but fortunately caught Alex there looking somewhere else. Yeah, you can see the, uh, the first really? attempt. Really unfortunate. Uh, it looks like... May have just been uh, started too late, yeah. Uh, but Turnip Boy did not let, let uh, dissuade him from going for the bug very soon afterwards. And you just get to catch that little tiny kink in the arm as uh, as Teal walks past. This is your, uh, your tell for a, a Teal walking bug. If you miss the arm, that reach out anim animation, you can kind of see how she puts her arm in by her chest. That's not a, a normal walking pose for uh, for Teal. So if you do miss the, uh, the arm reach, you can usually catch the back end of the bug. But unfortunately for Alex Air, uh, was not to be here. It's going to be Turnip Boy whoops, going up uh, early in this series. Now with uh, Alex Air onto the spy role on Ballroom. Anything can really happen here, Yish. Uh, it's a, a map where um, spies sometimes dominate. Maybe Alex Air can uh, to pull one back in, in 3, 2, 1, playing it. Yeah, I think a key aspect of Ballroom that we've seen is how many bugs get through and if it's clean. Uh, usually if the bug is clean, you're only playing any three of seven, and uh, that's a pretty easy time for the spy, and a really tough time for the sniper. But uh, if the bug is caught, that uh, task becomes much more difficult. Alex are just playing slow here. Not too much to do, decent time for banana bread, but looks like we just want to idle and lose some suspicion. So far in Group C, Alex Air has won both his matches against Human Kirby and Oark, uh, as well as Turnip Boy also winning both his matches against Human Kirby and Oark. So Alex Air and Turnip Boy uh, are up 2 0 in their group. Unfortunately, Human Kirby and Oark are down 0 2. Uh, so at this point, uh, Alex Air and both Turnip Boy are locked in to progress to the knockout stages. The winner of this series will actually secure first place. And uh, if there was to it would be a tie at the end of this series, I think just due to uh, uh, set percentage wins, Turnip Boy would go through as first place as well. So this is the battle for first and second in Group C. And currently, you can see both these players are up to it. 34%, we've got a blue book in hand heading over towards our seduction target. Looks like we're getting another flirt done here. This is really good. Uh, usually microphone 
at the start of the game gets watched for pretty heavily, the microfilm rush. So taking it out in the mid game, possibly not seen. We also had some decent cover with people standing in the left conversation. So it's possible this book may have just been forgotten. I have to see how Tenerboy does react to the book in hand. So far, it looks like uh, no markings are coming through, but uh, some snipers just prefer to, to mentally remember the book color. Alex says stepping into the conversation with the double agent also puts himself in a really good position actually for a, stri a reverse drive-by bug if the ambassador was to, uh, to path nice and cozy with us. Here comes the real contact. And the red. A couple of lowlights available, excellent only three, timing. four actually. Oh, and wow. The shot just comes off. That is a crazy shot. Let's uh, reverse it and see exactly what uh, Red Dress did to uh, deserve the bullet coming through from uh, Turnip Boy. We just quickly scroll through. You can see a start off at uh, side statues here next to the ambassador, potentially from, uh, from Turnip Boy's position. It looks like a bug could have occurred. Although uh, I don't think Turnip Boy would have phantom bug there just based on what happened. We get a side yeah, statue done, seems... fingerprint done. There must have been and another contact? fingerprint. Yeah, that that was tough. I don't actually see another fingerprint here. Uh, a very common strategy is to go for the early print, and maybe he wasn't sure if he missed ah. another print. Felt like he had to take the shot there. I reckon this is it here. At uh, 153, uh, the AI paths into conversation and bumps into the ambassador awkwardly. And then the contact comes off pretty soon afterwards. At this point, you've got yourself a single fingerprint. Your inspects are done. You may have got bug. You may have got contact. And if you aren't confident that you haven't guarded a uh, fingerprint um, perfectly and, and that somehow Red Dress has got a second one, then uh, this shot seems very justified from uh, the sniper's point of view. Unfortunately, though, for Turnip Boy, it is a missed shot, a civilian shot. And that's going to tie the series up at one apiece heading on into Courtyard, our second map here-ish. Absolutely, a little less difficult for the sniper here, not as much occlusion, very clear cut to see what you're looking for, but often the wins I've seen here at least are coming from the sniper's poor rotation. Let's uh, let's see if the spy can exploit that. Alrighty, well, we will be uh, finding that out as we jump on into the Courtyard here with Turnip Boy spying as Rocker in three, two, one, playing it. Tenant boy very quick to take over from the AI control. Hungrily looking to get into conversation with the seduction target. He picks up a white test flirt for 32%. Excellent conversation to start out in. We're with the DA, so maybe we'll just timer flirt wait for a good banana bread. This is a great start. Yeah, fantastic stuff. Uh, maybe even better, the seduction target steps out. We're actually going to go for a contact here. Let's look at sniper cam because there are low lights available. Buns, both twins, the general, and potentially even our seduction target as well. Looks like we get a couple of the low lights, and here come some highlights for real BB. I really like this from Alex Air. Absolutely. I think we actually had a, a set cast by Alex Air where the opposite happened. He didn't do this, so I love to see this adaptation him adjusting his play style. This is really great now. Now you only have to watch three guests instead of trying to camp uh, 10 guests. Much easier unless Turner Boy fake BBs again. Doesn't seem likely. I wonder if Alex Air is on top of the fact that that statue had a fingerprint on it. Turner Boy seemed to be and he picks up the fingerprint for himself. This is a lot of progress for one of the characters that had a real contact of the double agent here. Back to statues, potentially could lower some suspicion. But if Alexair is able to remember that we started the game next to Alice, this could also just be a death note for Turnip Boy. Yeah, and right now the ambassador just takes a drink. This is huge. This is our time to, to win the game. Hopefully Toby. Boots does not take this drink so we can get the fingerprint. Ooh, Boots takes it. I think we'll probably still go for this. And I think we so. hit the difficult, but now we're going to be relying a lot on our green test. Hopefully we can get this and win the game. This is going to be tough to see for Alex here. All right, Turnip Boy takes a drink. Going to step into conversation with Alice while she sunshines us. We've got plenty of time. Green test. That's the fingerprint completed. Now all we need is a flirt from any range onto our seduction target, Alice. And that will be a mission completion for Turnip Boy. That was huge really clutch there otherwise we might have had to go back to the ambassador and force him out so we could get the briefcase really clutch there hitting the, the green test there basically to seal up this game i don't think alex can shoot for this maybe if he really thinks that this is a finish right now 
This is the can do it. only so character that had a real contact that has done anything since the contact has happened. But it doesn't look like Alex Air is prepared to make the shot. That's a beautiful win coming out from Turnip Boy. The usage of the difficult fingerprint as well. I, I really love the adaptation. Like you mentioned, we uh, we casted Alex Air earlier on in the tournament. And uh, there were some really good highlight opportunities for real contact double agent uh, that weren't taken. And he's adapted his style here. Uh, but when you look at the, the three characters that did get the real contact, it's Rocker, it's Irish, it's Walt over here on the right. I don't think any of them actually did anything for the rest of the game. Irish stays in the same conversation actually for the entirety of the game and Walt switches conversations once. So if you were to shoot just based on the, those three characters alone, I think at that point you have to shoot Rocker. Very hard shot to make, but uh, I suppose if you are going to use the, the contact as real, and make those kind of highlights, then maybe uh, that's the uh, that's the way to a, a sniper victory there. Either way, another spy win here in this series. The battle for first place in Group C. Alex there now s stepping on to the courtyard himself. Going to be playing Taft uh, for us tonight. We'll have to see how that one goes in 3, 2, 1, playing it. Oh, we path away from the statues. I like this decision. Alex are not wanting to eat the early highlight for the statue visit. Decides to just play it cool. This worked last time, so I totally agree with him. Just playing it slow again, get your soft tails done, try to build up to that hard tail. Alex Air moving around the map a lot. Steps into the conversation with a real double agent here. Potentially we could look for a contact. Yep, and the end of red. Comes. It's a green test as well, quite nice for us. How does Turnip Boy react to it? Lots of lowlights available. Looks like we've taken three of them so far. There's a couple more potential. But we're not going to risk it just yet. Now the seduction target steps into our conversation as well on the opposite side. So could go for a, a long range flirt. Instead, Alex there decides to, uh, to leave the conversation. Interesting that we decide not to take that flirt. Flirt is something you usually want to get done early and often. So maybe Alex there potentially going for a low light here. Not completing seduces. Definitely an interesting strategy. I would say probably about almost 100% of the spy wins come from completing seduce. So I'm wondering what Alexair has in mind here. Alexair does break etiquette a couple times here. But I don't think Turnip Boy is watching for that. Stepping into the statues. There is a difficult fingerprint on this statue. We're hitting green tests on the specs, which is good. Potentially means that we might be able to get the... Uh, Difficult fingerprint as well. Yeah, there it is. Beautiful stuff. One fingerprint started off for Alex Air. This could be really hard for Turnip Boy to track, but we haven't started Seduce yet, which makes a soft tail mission rush pretty hard. We're going to have to hit a green test float, I think, Yish. We don't. That's a 34% white test. We're going to have to rush in and out, but we are going to have to go out anyways to probably get the briefcase. Hopefully Wheels drops it in boots so that we have a chance. The ST did leave. That's really helpful. We should go chase that. I feel like we want to get this mission done unless we want to rely on something else. Yep, looks, looks like, like we are is. moving over towards General here. A green test could be very valuable to us. White test at this oh, range is going to be okay. And the Ambassador leaves. Oh, but Bling Twin picks up the briefcase before we have a chance to pick it up, unfortunately. Now we might have to rely on a mission here. Yeah, no might even have to hit a hard, hard tail on this uh, briefcase that just got set down. Yeah, this could be our second difficult fingerprint. This could be really strong for Alex Air if he was able to hit it. Picks up the briefcase, going to chase wheels across the map. Oh, he did it! Another green test. Too difficult. What? Oh, but this briefcase return potentially bad. I wonder if Turnip Boy suspects it. Here comes the last flirt coming out for Alex Air. We're getting pretty close to the 10 second mark, but we're not going to wait for overtime beeps. This is going to be it. You have to make the shot now or never if you're Turnip Boy. Two difficult fingerprints. It's bloody difficult to make this shot. And Turnip Boy holds fire. That's Alex Air picking up a very clutch spy win. That was amazing. He actually hit that green test wall moving, which is like unheard of, I would, yeah, I would say. Like I would not want to try to focus on pathing while trying to hit a green test. That's just crazy. That he, The fact that he hits both of them, that's going to be very difficult for Turnip Boy to catch. Well done. This is the only moment where as a, a sniper, I was very worried for Alex Air. As you can see, Alex Air steps into the conversation directly next to the ambassador here to return the briefcase. This could be potentially the uh, the downside of, of fingerprinting whilst pathing is that sometimes you forget to, uh, to readjust your path towards the end. Uh, this is 
technically a hard hard tell for uh, for anyone wondering an ai will always return the briefcase behind the ambassador um in a, a sort of 180 cone if you draw a line behind the ambassador then uh they would step into it uh Turner boy does say that he didn't like the return but he wasn't sure and of course how can you shoot for two difficult fingerprints it's so difficult to do so um and, and so decided to hold fire anyway which uh, i think is statistically a good play by turnip boy so uh definitely don't uh, don't get me wrong there i think that's statistically pretty wise uh, it's just very unfortunate that alex says action test game was on point on courtyard and now we head into library here yeesh everyone's sp uh, tied up spy wins across the board not a sniper win yet maybe alex Air can change I mean that The spies have been playing amazing. Let's see if they can keep it up. Library is definitely a map where all the spy action is there, and they're going to have to be aggressive to, in order to get missions done. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, absolutely. Playing, playing twin here. Turn it, boy, into the library in three, two, one. Playing it. How do we want to one start thing off this I, game? I've noticed is that uh, that spies often in uh, the summer cup have a hard time transitioning from this four of seven pace to to five eight pace. Sometimes throw some snipers, some spies off and uh, force them into some situations they may not want to be in. So hopefully Turnip Boy's pacing is good here. Seems like we've got an early flirt, so always like starting with those soft tells. And let's see if he goes for this fin early fingerprint. Yeah, fingerprint on blue bookshelf and of course the briefcase is there as well. Turnip Boy going to pick up the briefcase. Alex there swings over to notice it just as it happens. We're going to pick up our first fingerprint. Fingerprint, obviously a very important mission as Courtyard showed us in the previous series. Tenant Boy's committing a lot to returning this briefcase all the way across the map and unfortunately for him, not rewarded by a, a relatively good stop as well in Queen as the sniper wasn't looking for it. Yeah, and Tenant Boy might even try to get the second fingerprint right now, get it early. Nah, just goes for the, the flirt instead. I don't yes. mind this. Rushing your fingerprint can be sometimes really suspicious. We still can. Fingerprint is... We could if we wanted to. Yep. Looks like we are. Go are. I really love this one, Turnip Boy. Very, yeah, fingerprints are really difficult mission to catch, especially on 5-8 maps. There are just so many prints to be had that it's going to be almost impossible for the sniper to track them all. Yeah, and look at this. There's not even a highlight yet. Uh, potentially, Alex Air withholding highlights just for statue visitors and uh, mentally keeping track of other elements. But like you mentioned, on a map like Library especially, there's just so many chances to pick up fingerprints and... It's really difficult to remember the fact that, you know, Queen was there right at the beginning of the game and no one's been to that blue bookshelf since. The the briefcase almost guards it from the AIs as they're more likely to, to take the briefcase away than pick up a book. Tenet Boy's in the conversation with the double agent. We've got fingerprint done very quickly. We've got our seduce up to 68%, which requires just one more flirt and we'll have that done. Could look for a contact in a bit here and Tenet Boy's progress would be pretty nice. Absolutely. I think Inspect is probably one of the more common missions we've seen. So that and a hard tell, and we're looking good. And uh, we, our options are still pretty open. We probably and don't want to do microfilm, just because we've already been at the blue bookshelf. We don't want to get extra suspicion for that. But I think any other option besides microfilm be, is, is wide open to us. We're not wow. even highlight yet. This is great. Not, not even highlight, but Alex Air wasn't confident enough to take any of the possible lowlights that were available in library and that could be a real big shame especially if some of those low lights were previously highlights we just hit a green test across the conversation seduce is now done do i see an inspect swap on the table here it's possible the timing as well would be really good for turnip boy yeah this is pretty spy like timing so let's see if alex here notices it looks like he is swinging his laser to check and he's tilting he's making sure that twin is not going to swap oh but he does swap it's a white test Holy moly. No, it's not. It's a green test. The, laser, the laser's off on a set. He took the... Yes, there's the shot. I think he noticed that was a three cycle. Or th thought he was going for a swap walk. Really great shot there by Alex there. Great wow. instincts there. Even though he was not even suspicious at all. Got those three missions done clean. Still very aware that swap is a threat. Here's the first animation cycle. White test. Second animation cycle white test and the third animation cycle as well started up and uh, alex there 100 percent on top of the etiquette there shooting for it really unfortunate for turnip boy uh the, the three cycle does come through alex there able to catch it because uh, that was otherwise a, a relatively clean spy game and you never know what would have happened 
with a green swap later on into the series regardless. That's the first sniper win we've had so far. It could be an influential one as well. Uh, as Alexander now stepping into the spy role to try and convert uh, a lead for himself. We'll have to see if he's able to do it as Irish in three, two, one, playing it. That's a huge momentum swing. Honestly, I was I was a little bit worried about Turnip Boy's uh, his uh, like his spacing out of missions there, but he d had excellent pacing, got all of his missions done. I don't think Inspect Swap was a bad play. Unfortunately, just didn't hit a green test on those Inspects. Let's see if Alexair can ride this momentum and sweep this map. Fingerprint available on the drink here, and looks like Alexair going to call the waiter over. But we actually reject the drink. Maybe we're looking to try and pick up a situational low light by not taking an early fingerprint. On library, though, it's really difficult for the sniper to even notice uh, that fingerprints are available, and I don't think Alexair will be rewarded for this. Fortunately, it doesn't seem like we aren't. Uh, if it was noticed, I'm sure that we probably get some credit for that at least. Maybe not in the form of a low light, but definitely less suspicion. You would hope so. At bookshelves here, yellow book in hand. That's two read cycles. We're going to take the book out with us and head back into our conversation with Kane, the seduction target. Picking up a nice little white flirt at close range puts us to 68%. And now uh, another flirt from this range uh, will get us a completion on that mission. What do you think he does with the book? Do you think we return it and uh, try and lower suspicion or direct transfer? I feel like we were noticed by Alexer might at least think he has to go back to the old bookshelf. Ooh, looks like we're going to the corner here and trying Ooh. for the hard test. Wow, look at that. Tanner Boy was super suspicious of this movement. Look at his sniper movement uh, as he notices Alexer uh, at, uh, at the side here. I'm going to slow it down because obviously on library, uh, snipers are relatively rapid in the way they move their camera, but he notices Alexair leave the conversation here real quickly, snaps back over to see him at the bust on the far right, and then a third snap back over in just a second to notice the, the book is being read, a fourth to notice the, uh, the microfilm. That's some huge suspicion that a, a microfilm transfer was coming, and uh, Turnip Boy able to find the, uh, the shot. Really nice stuff by Turnip Boy. We, uh, we head into Pub all tied up. Wow, this series, neck and neck. If I was going to give Pub, though, over to anyone, I think Turnip Boy's Pub is pretty damn good. I definitely struggled against him uh, in the uh, the SEL Challenger Swiss League on this map. And so uh, if, I, if I was to make predictions, then uh, this is the map where I feel like Turnip Boy potentially has the, uh, the advantage. Um, just a reminder, though, in this series, to determine first and second between these two players. Uh, Tenet Boy just needs a tie and he will go through his division, his group as first. Uh, Alex there really gunning for that win if he wants to come sec uh, first in his division and, and getting first seed is pretty important when we, uh, we do go into the knockout stages. It gives you a slightly easier uh, first opponent in the knockout stage. So uh, that's what these guys are playing for and there's gonna be Tenet Boy spying first. As Salmon on pub, let's see how he gets it done in three, two, one, playing it. Really nice there by uh, Turner Boy being able to catch that microphone in the previous game. I think uh, got a little bit unlucky with the party there. Ambassador was in a really safe position, so Turner Boy had plenty of time to focus on other things. But I think Alex Air wasn't playing too bad. I think microfilm, hard microphone is not a bad play at all. So Ooh. let's see if he can recover from that. Oh, this is a this is so a really dirty spot. Yeah, completely invisible there. Wow, that's a, a absolutely invisible fingerprint. There's no way Alex there saw that. That's uh, really huge for Pub. If you uh, get a, a free fingerprint like that as Turnip Boy, then uh, you've almost already won. Absolutely, and now we definitely have not received credit. If we did burn notice, we would have certainly got a highlight since that was definitely not a correct briefcase. But now, all you need to do is go for all soft tells. Can turn a boy properly space these out? Well, we're going for a flirt and a contact and immediately. Alex there swings over to the far left conversation, the only conversation that has a double agent in it, and looks like we're going to throw out some highlights for real BB here. Again, really good uh, intuition from Alex there. Let's see if it's able to uh, convert a sniper win. Even though this play did not work out in ballroom, I still really like this. 
you're going to be able to track suspicion much easier and only having to track a third of the party instead of 100% of the party is going to make your life a lot easier here. Turnip Boy, though, has made a ton of progress already. I don't think it's going to be that easy for Alex here to come back here. He's going to have to make a tough shot, I think, if he wants to win this game. In this position that Turnip Boy has, can see the entire party. He knows exactly where the ambassador has been and where the fingerprints are available. It looks like we are heading over to the statue now to get one of our missions done, the inspect as well. I saw the ambassador over here. Was she at the statue? I uh, know she wasn't. I believe she was grabbing a drink instead. Yeah, yeah, unfortunately, we're not going for that quite yet, but still plenty of time. The ambassador did set down the briefcase, so we can wait for her to move and then grab that. Still have plenty of time, one minute. No need to rush. We just need to make sure we get this fingerprint whenever she moves. And a boy will be staring down the ambassador. Here comes the flirt onto our seduction target. That puts us at three out of four missions completed. And 53 seconds left to go. And look at that. The ambassador has just stepped away from her post. The briefcase lying on the floor. Someone must return it. Turner Boy says, I, I will be the one to return it. As he picks it up and looks to complete his final mission here. Here comes the mission win countdown. Did Alex see the first fingerprint? Seems unlikely here. Turner Boy has done exactly what he needs. He finds the spy win. He goes up four to three in this series, locking in the possibility of a tie and taking first place in his group. Well done to turn it, boy. Took a small risk at the beginning, getting caught for that early fingerprint, but certainly a reasonable risk to take. And basically, if you get that for off for free, you won the game at that point. So really nice there. Locking in that win. First seed is going to be a huge advantage coming up in the upcoming group stages. Uh, Absolutely. Up in the single elimination. My, yeah, the, my apologies. The single elimination. Uh, congratulations, yep, to Turner Boy. Uh, obviously, Alex there uh, has done fantastically in Group C as well. Um, and, and even if he wins this uh, this next spy game to tie it up, you have to have to give credit to uh, to taking a tie against Turner Boy. It's uh, definitely a huge stuff. Uh, but we do have one more game to play, and we might as well play it out because uh, all games in the group stages do get played out. And here it is. It's going to be Alex there spying as Orange Stress to uh, to round out this series. Let's see if he can pull out a spy win. Uh, to, uh, to to lock in the tie against Turnip Boy, or will this just be a, a straight win for Turnip Boy? We'll find out in three, two, one, playing it. So Turnip Boy becomes our our first first seed, I suppose, uh, that we uh, have confirmed through tonight's games. Uh, there are a couple of extra first seeds that we we know of. Uh, Group B, Nemphilus has secured first seed. Uh, in Group H, Catnip has secured first seed um, in Group D. Um, I've secured first seed. Uh, uh, so uh, without the, the other games that we have left to cast, those are the, the other first seeders from the, uh, the group stages. And uh, of course, if you secure first seed in your group, you won't have to play uh, someone else who has also secured first seed, which is... Uh, it's pretty good. It's a, a sigh of relief when you, you do go into the, the single elimination portion of the, the tournament so that you know that you're not going up against one of the, the top people from each group. Yeah, and uh, these players are no joke. I think uh, Turner Boy has over 4,000 games. I know Oof. some of these players that like challenger players, like you guys have so many games. It's crazy. <laughs> and it's like, it's not going to be easy to, to, try to, to try to beat you guys. So getting a first seed it's going to be really helpful trying to make those first matchups easier. But it's definitely not going to get easier as uh, as everything progresses. No, this tournament only gets harder. Alex there did uh, delegate the guest list um, duty, I suppose, to uh, Plane Twin over there. But it did expire on his way over towards the bar. We've got a, a single one spec done. Uh, a flirt up to 45%. We're going to start up a second one here. Knock it to 76, which is pretty decent. Now we're eyeing up the, the rest of the possibilities for this game. A minute and 40 seconds left on the clock. And there's quite a few highlights, actually. So uh, we can't be the most suspicious character at the party, I wouldn't expect. Right. Our, our early purloin, actually, we uh, delegated without taking the drink. And then had to walk all the way back. Unfortunately, Orange Dress is a pretty slow character. And the twin decided to go to the far side of the bar. So our timer just barely expires. But I, I don't mind the risk. An early delegate not being noticed would be a pretty hard way 
for a return of boy to catch. But now looking in a tough spot, we might have to go back to the statues and swap. Since now high but red. Been really difficult. But let's see what Alex is up to. BB split. Yeah, BB split. Green test steps out of the conversation. Oh, we're going to pass right past the ambassador. There's the bug attempt. Turnip boy was watching for it. Gonna take that shot nice and confidently. And Turnip Boy will stamp his name on this series and take his third win so far of the Summer Cup, putting him 5-3 against Alex Air, and like we mentioned, securing first spot in Group C. Good games there. Alex Air, unfortunately, just put in a tough spot after the purling didn't go off. Tough to know if Turnip Boy would have caught that. I think he did notice the, uh, the reject, so maybe he just punishes that. But after the purling went off, Alex Air had very few good options left. Yeah, that's very true. And uh, as you can see from the sniper cam, Turnip Boy put himself in a fantastic position to catch that bug. Was very, very nervous that the possibility could happen. So that is our second game, uh, first game done for tonight. Let's jump over to the second of our matches tonight. And oh man, 